What's up guys? Um, I just tried to make a video uh, using the YouTube uh, webcam recording thing because I can't actually edit my videos right now because my uh, power supplies thermal shutdown keeps tripping. I use a program called Sony Vegas Studio Pro or something like that and uh, it's a very good program but whenever you use a professional video editing program like that and then you go to render the video um, you have to uh, well, you have to render it uh, once you've made all your edits, and that's very intensive, uh, CPU and GPU intensive. If you have it set up correctly, it'll use the GPU as well as the CPU, uh, which makes a big difference in the processing speed and the time. Now, in my case, with the processor I have, an FX8350, and also uh, my graphics card, which is uh, it's nothing special, it's just a uh, GeForce GT 630 um, but it's a special edition one that has 4 gig of RAM uh, of graphical RAM anyway my point being that it seems to be drawing too much power which I can't really figure out because the processor takes 125 watts uh, at maximum and I think that the graphics card takes less than that plus the motherboard and all my other peripherals um, it just doesn't add up because I have a 550 watt power supply, which is a lot, uh, especially for a low end computer. Like, yes, I know if you have multiple graphics cards, you know, they have like 1200 watt power supplies, crazy shit like that. But in my case, no, it just doesn't add up. But anyway, the thermal shutdown keeps tripping. I literally have to open up my window to the minus 25 weather um, and have a fan blowing on my computer um, to keep it cool enough so that it doesn't trip. But even with that uh, going, even with the fan going and the window open, I'm still uh, tripping the thermal shutdown uh, in some cases, so I just, I really don't understand what's going on. Anyway, basically that means that I have to shoot a video like this in one take and upload it directly without editing until I can solve this problem. So unfortunately, uh, the videos are either going to be kind of uh, less edited and kind of sucky, or um, I'm just going to have to solve the problem, which is... <laughs> you see? I could edit out that yawn usually, but I can't because my editing's not working. So excuse the crappy editing or lack of any editing. Um, I wanted to just give you guys an update on what I've done, but uh, I went to Toronto for um, for, uh, for Christmas um, from the 24th to the 27th, which was really nice. I saw my brother. We hung out. I hit a bunch of the electronic shops in Toronto. I'm gonna yawn again. <laughs> I don't know why this happens. The second I turn on the camera, I start yawning. I think it's because I'm talking more or something. It's weird. Um, but I hit a bunch of the electronic stores in Toronto. Uh, the big one was one called Active Surplus, right on Queen Street West near John. It's a very, very cool store. They usually have the gorilla out front. There's a guy there, actually. He remembered me from September, the last time I was in Toronto, and I went in there, and we chatted, and uh, I bought all sorts of cool stuff. There's uh, another store just a few blocks from there, up near College in Spadina, called uh, Creatron, which is also very cool. They have tons of components. Um, they're a little bit more centered on hobbyists, I think. They have more Arduinos, um, lots of component drawers. I'm yawning again. I was trying to stop myself from yawning. God, I'm gonna turn around and face the other way. Maybe it's the sign in my eyes. And I'm dragging the charger across the floor. Um, so, yeah, that store is also very cool, very worth checking out. And the Pièce de Résistance um, is a big store up near Markham, uh, near Steels, Steels and Victoria Park, I think. No, Victoria Park is uh, something like that. I think it's at Steels and Victoria, called Sale, S-A-Y-A-L. Um, they have everything. If you go on their website and check them out, uh, the, the location that we were going to go to is their big warehouse, but unfortunately they were closed on Boxy Day. And this would all be edited out usually, but now you have to see how crap I really am. Uh, huge, huge store. My brother went there to get my uh, gift for Christmas, which by the way, positive developer. Ferric chloride, which I've already used, uh, a, you know, almost half this bottle because I stupidly etched something in the wrong type of container, uh, a metal container, and so of course the ferric chloride was doing just as much to the container as it was to the board. So it took forever. I took way more ferric chloride than it normally would have, 
But here is the final finished product for my first time etching a board. Um, it's pretty simple. It's just a breakout board. <sighs> this is terrible. I, this happens to me every time I film. I just like start uncontrollably yawning. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's psychological or something. Anyway, this is AT Tiny breakout board for the AT Tiny 13. The uh, microcontroller goes right there. Um, there's power supply. The only piece of copper, it was a double sided board. I just kept a piece there to have the 5 volt regulator, have a little bit of copper as a heatsink, and then basically all the action is on the back. Very, very, very simple. Um, it's not even, I didn't even do it with a photo resist board. I did it by hand using. rub on etch resist which takes a long long time you have all these shapes as you can see there and you have to use those shapes uh cut them up rub them onto the board um and oh yeah it was very labor intensive you'd think that i never slept or something you'd think that i just stayed up you know for days and days at a time and never slept i literally slept for 12 hours last night i'm not even kidding i went to bed at about seven o'clock and woke up at about seven o'clock i was exhausted um and it's only 12 o'clock now so i don't know why i'm yawning so much anyway so you have to take the etch uh resist rub it onto the board and then etch it in some ways it's easier but in some ways it's harder i don't have a laser printer um so the next uh, probably one of the next big videos I'm going to do is how to etch a board um, using photo resist and it should be very very cool. I do have a photo sensitive board that I bought. Um, I'm not entirely sure there's a bunch of different things I want to make with it so I'll have to pick something cool and uh, I'll show you guys how it's done. Anyway this video is already seven minutes so I'm going to cut it off here. Thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe. It makes a huge difference. Um, if I can get some attention, if I can start making this blog a bit bigger It'll benefit you guys because, uh, especially my loyal followers, such as uh, Peter, who I was talking to from the Netherlands, he and I have been chatting back and forth. Uh, people like him and people who are followers, um, you are going to benefit in that if I ever get test equipment or if I get stuff sent to me for review, uh, I'm going to review it, tear it down, play with it, and then I'm going to give it away to my subscribers. Um, because my equipment, the stuff you see behind me, was given to me as a gift by someone, uh, by a few people. I actually, someone else also gave me um, a USB oscilloscope and a few other things. And the condition was from all these people, just like it should be, pay it forward. Uh, when you have the opportunity, help someone else who needs uh, equipment that doesn't have it. So basically, um, yeah, you're going to get stuff, hopefully, if we get more the more subscribers, the more likes and stuff I have, the bigger chance I'll have of being able to contact the marketing department of these companies. And uh, just like Dave on the, EV, on the EEV blog does, hopefully we'll be able to get some cool stuff in here and review it. Anyway, guys, we're over eight minutes now, and this has been all one long take. I'm sorry it's so badly edited, but thanks so much for watching. And stay tuned, because there'll be new stuff coming in very shortly. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye.